During the Vietnam War, women at a demonstration burned their bras and girdles. Men burned their draft cards. Because registering for the draft was a rite of passage for men, but not for women, male plaintiffs challenged the rule in the case Rostker v. Goldberg. Registration for the draft ended in 1975, but in 1980, after the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, President Carter decided to reactivate it via proclamation. Congress agreed that a draft was necessary and allocated funds for the Selective Service System. Carter requested that Congress amend the Military Selective Service Act to permit the registration and conscription of women as well as men, but Congress declined. Carter ordered the registration of certain groups of men beginning July 21st. Back in 1971, several men had filed a federal lawsuit claiming that the draft discriminated on the basis of gender. Over the years, this lawsuit remained alive. Once Carter's proclamation arrived, the court certified a plaintiff class of all males who were subject to registration or liable for service in the armed forces, including plaintiff Robert Goldberg. The district court held that the act violated the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment and permanently enjoined the government from requiring registration. Though the court didn't decide whether women should serve in combat, it found that registering women would increase military flexibility. The director of Selective Service, Bernard Rostker, appealed. The Court of Appeals stayed the district court's order, and registration began. The United States Supreme Court granted certiorari.